Hey guys, welcome to the Manga Mark channel. Today I am watching One Piece episodes 669 and 670. Uh, you know, Dress Rosa has just, it's been fantastic. It has been. It's, Dress Rosa has been fantastic so far. I know we still have a while to go, right? I know how long this arc is. I was pre-warned before I went into this arc about the length. But guys, so far it's been great. It's been great. You know, I, I can maybe understand... You know, people were talking about, like, padding at some points with, like, uh, some of the stuff in Block D. But we kept going back to Block D and there wasn't much progression. But so far, it hasn't been... It hasn't been, you know... I, I know that they've probably still got, like, uh, padding to come. Um, but, I mean, like, so far, it's been... I, I, can, I can live with it because there's so much interesting stuff going on in this arc. There's so many characters in this arc. There's so many plot points happening that a little bit of padding with like one point of it, not a problem. Um, but we got we got the conclusion. Rebecca got the win. We know that, and now we go into the finals. What I didn't know is that the final was originally supposed to be, um, obviously the the four winners from the blocks, and then four of the executives from the Dolphamingo family. But obviously, because of what's happening right now um, in the country, they're on the defensive. It feels like Frankie's just taking them all on on his own. Frankie's taking on these executives and the you know, Marine Vice Admiral at the same time. He's holding down the fort. But while that's happening, it's basically Sabo as Lucy, Bartolomeo, Rebecca, Burgess and Diamante are in the final... The Devil Fruit, it's not what I thought it was. It's not like a knockout competition like the other rounds um, or like Last Man Standing. Basically, the Devil Fruit's in a box attached to one of the flying fish and it's basically whoever gets it, get like they win it, basically. Whether it's actually in that box or not is a different story. But yeah, and then at the end of the last episode, Luffy is charged into the palace. You know, he doesn't do these stealth tactics. He does not follow plans. He's going for Doflamingo. He's in there. Um, so he's charged into the palace and we have um, Zoro, Kinemon and uh, Viola running after him, trying to kind of catch up. So let's see how it plays out. Let's get into this, guys. Let's do it. I I'm all for it. I, I want... Oh, man. Do you know the, the point I am most interested to see because of this, the plan that we have? with the Tontatas and with the Toy Soldier, is I want to see what's going to happen to this country if they, like, you know, they, they manage to get it so that all the toys turn back into humans. Can I imagine that? Imagine everybody getting their memories back and, like, you know, the, the you know the penny dropping on, like, what Doflamingo's been up to for the past 10 years. That'll be brilliant, right? But... Let's get into it, guys. Um, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And yeah, let's do this. One Piece episode 669. Let's go. Okay, so Kinemon and Wicca are going to the toy house to get Kanjiro. So if they're separating from this group, it makes me think it's def. Oh, wow. I, my thought process is Fujitora against Zoro, Luffy against uh, Doflamingo. But I don't know if Fujitora's still there or did he leave? What is happening? What's going on? I'm getting Castlevania vibes here, like, what? <laughs> what is happening? What is that? Uh, yeah. Oh, what is this? Who is this? Okay, this is going to be a, another member of the family where, like, a, a crazy double fruit. What? What's this one going to be? Who's this? Oh, that's Pika! Oh, he's the one that Viola wanted to avoid out of everybody. 
Right. Okay. Yeah, how does his devil fruit work then? So it can, it can blend into anything that's stone? Like anything? Oh dear. This is the first time we've been up against one of the top, top executives, you know? Let's go of Straight in a second gear. What is this? You know, this is the problem. Like, so... How does it work, though? Like, so is that not his... So can he control the... Is he controlling the stone to make it look like an image of himself? Or is that his actual body? Nah, nah, that's not... Mm -mm, yeah, there's no way that's how it ends there. Um... Oh man, the devil fruits in this arc are insane. Like just, just, just the thought that you have to put into like how they work. <laughs> yeah. Explain it, Viola. He can merge with stones, which means he's practically taking control of this whole stone part. Right. Yeah. See, that's the problem. Especially in a country like this. That's probably why Viola was saying that he's like, this is the last person we want to run into because the devil fruit's insane here. Is... Is he standing in front of the bullets? That, what? In front of Frankie? Yeah, what? Wait, what? Why is he protecting Frankie? Is that just because he doesn't like the Navy? Is that what it is? Oh, here we go with the shoe brushes again. <laughs> yeah. It was a strange talk. An agreement? Okay. Oh my god, and now Frankie's playing the guitar. I, I, like, what is happening in this fight? Like, what is this? <laughs> this guy. This <laughs> Oh, I love how calm Frankie is, though. Yeah, he's so relaxed. Like, look, look how much the odds are stacked against him here. He's just, he's all for it. He's playing guitar. He's having a good time. Oh no, don't do this. Oh, I thought he was going to do the centaur thing there. I thought he was going to do that centaur. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a strange... Yeah, there's a strange respect here. Uh, we've seen your pink and Frankie. It's so weird. Like, it's weird. But, you know, it's, it's, a, it's strange. Like, even him like stepping in front of the Marines to stop the, the bullets, to be like, nah, listen, this is, we're settling this here. And I think the only reason they stood aside was because they mentioned Doflamingo. Easy. Easy done. Come on, go go back to the. Come on, let, let me see the classic, Frankie. Give me the classic. No, no. Closer. No, come on. Get the. Oh, it's back to that. Oh, come on. I want to see the. I want to see the classic Frankie do. Oh no. Is this Cavendish about to be turned into a toy as well? Oh, fall asleep, Cavendish. Fall asleep on this table. Let hack about and just kill them all. Oh no, this is a is this a flashback showing you? Yeah, that's oh, okay. This is a flashback showing you how he ended up. 
in this situation. Okay. Right, yeah. So the sticky stick so the sticky stuff is from Treble. We know now he's doing the sticky stuff and so he's holding him in place with that and then Sugar's turning him into toys. Oh, she's standing right there and Calvin just doesn't know. Also, it was like it pointed out to me that it's never like, it's never put in the main series, but apparently Sugar and the SBS, Sugar and... Monet, our sisters? Hmm. Oh, 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 Cavendish. And he'll be gutted because like, nobody will remember him. Which is why, you know. Oh. Oh, so she gives them. She called it a contract. So basically she sets the she sets the ground rules after she turns them. Okay. And th this, that probably explains why there aren't more toys trying to get people to remember them. Who's that? Okay, so that hack has been turned into a toy. There you go. And we know that hack is a member of the Revolutionary Army now. Even, yeah, King Elizabeth. Oh, man. We know that Riku is with Doflamingo, so he wasn't turned. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh, that's how they're going to... You're speaking Usopp's language, yes. That's how they're going to get her to, to pass out. He tested it on 50 people? <laughs> He's, they sound so happy tell, yeah, telling you that. Well, is there specially getting in and out without being seen? So he's gonna he's trying oh, he's gonna get that in that bowl without her noticing. Oh dear. I hope it goes to plan. I I, I really do. Uh, you know, my fingers are crossed. I, I really hope this works. <laughs> For Usopp's sake. <laughs> right, okay. So if this if this does work, I may get my wish sooner than I anticipated. And if all the toys turn back... Like, think about the chaos in this uh, port just by itself. Like, it showed you some of the players... Basically, all the people that were in uh, Luffy's block um, and the block before, all the runners up there... Are all turned into toys here. We saw Calvin this year, we saw Hack, we saw Sai. Um, you know, like anyway, Don Chen Zhao. Like all these people have been turned into toys and are being made work here against their will. So think about people like that. Like what? In fact, wait a minute, is so does that Oh, I didn't think about that. I was like, what about Harridan? So like the size of the toys. Do the size of the toys like co align with the size of the person. So would would like like Haridin when he get turned into a toy, would he turn into like a big giant toy? Hmm. That's that's something to think about. Um I don't think so. No, I don't think that is the case. Because if that was the case, then Rebecca's dad would be like three feet tall. <laughs> you know, the toy soldier. So I, I don't think so. Right? Um, no, it doesn't because we just saw we just saw Hack there and he was like a toy horse thing. So no, it doesn't. So you could be any shape, right? So technically, 
Harridan could be in, it could be a small toy, right? But think about that, the likes of him, you know, the likes, like, that's just one example of the chaos that will happen here if this plan works. Like, all these people turning back, oh man, it's going to be, it's going to be a riot, right? And I'm all here for it. I am all here for it. Um, we still haven't seen, oh, what was the name of the samurai? That Kinemon kept saying. Oh, I said that not long ago. Oh, that's going to do my head on. Kanjiro. Kanjiro. We've still not seen Kanjiro. Um, I'm hoping it works out. Because it's weird. Like, for some reason, Doflamingo wants Momo. Right? So there's more going on here with the samurai than meets the eye. Right? I don't know what it is. But there is something there. So I believe they might have kept Kanjiro alive there for a reason. Because they want Momo. Which gives hope for Kinemon to get him out of there. Um, and he's obviously not been turned into a toy. Because if he'd turned, been turned into a toy, they would have forgotten about him. So let's see how it goes. But yeah, guys, let's get to the next episode. Let's get to the next episode. Because I'm, I'm very excited to see if this works. You know? For, uh, poor Usopp, if it doesn't work and Usopp's there, oh man, it, like I can just see him getting landed in this kind of situation though, you know, where he has to deal with this and he's just, you know, screaming the place down, oh man, but yeah, guys, let's get into it, let's do this, One Piece episode 670, let's go, oh man, this, Usopp's worried and I can, I can understand why, because this guy here does seem like the kind of enemy that Usopp would have to go up against. Which is bad signs because I... Based on his devil fruit, it's a pretty safe assumption that he is a Logia. Um, you know, his, his devil fruit kind of reminds me of... Um, oh, what's the swamp guy called again? Oh crap, what's his name? The rookie. Oh my god. What? He's sniping flies in the head? Oh no. Leo. Usopp, try and shoot it in our basket maybe. Fair play to little Leo. You know, after watching that, he's still charging in there. No hesitation. Don't say, don't say things like that, Uswap. Don't, don't jinx this. Uh, I, I really hope it does. I, I hope this works, but... Oh, man. Come on. Oh, no. What's Robin? Robin's seen something. What is it? Oh, what happened? That's it, it's there. Sabo. Bartolomeo, help us out. We know you're on our side. Oh no. Yeah. The decoys. The decoys are appearing. The good thing is, Diamante. <sighs> yeah, I, 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 he's probably experienced in this kind of environment, but you're hoping he's worried about the water because of his devil for it. Come on, Sabo. Oh, the one we want is going for Rebecca. Okay. Oh, Rebecca. The rest of them took care of their, their fish as if they were nothing. How is Rebecca going to fare? Or is she going to go for the fruit? Ooh. Come on, Sabo. Oh no, okay, these two. Diamante and Burgess are going to get in the way. I, I love that they still think it's Luffy. Come on, Sabo, show them. Show them what you've got, man. No, no. 
Oh, Sabo. Is he just going to take it? What's he doing? The armament hack is coming out. Dragon Claw. Okay. Oh, the Clashy Conqueror's hacky. Is that what that is? Can, is this confirmation, Sabo? It makes sense if Luffy has it and Ace has it. Obviously, Sabo's got it. And it's too strong for Burgess. See you later. Dragon Claw. Was it Dragon that taught him that? Would make sense. Get out of here, Burgess. Smash him down, Sabo. Battle of Will loves it. <laughs> yeah, I think... Yeah, I think Rebecca has realised here that... She's... She's punching above her weight with these people in the final. Hmm. But you've got to commend the bravery. You've got to commend the bravery to step in there with people like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to go for it. All in. She's in there with people that are just on a different level. I wish someone would explain to her, though, like, what's happening. So that she can, like... I know it's easy to say, but, like, you know, to try and maybe rely on the other people. But she doesn't know the circumstances of what's going on with everybody that's here. And what's actually happening with Luffy right now. Oh, that's the, that's the old man, isn't it? Wow, G. So we're going to get this guy against Toy Soldier. Okay. Okay. Old man in spandex, calm down. This, 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 this. They are very unique characters. Yeah. This this guy's gonna be a problem to get past. Especially in this palace. Yeah, Zoro, just chop it up. Just chop it up, see what happens. So all the top executives right now, they're all involved in the plot points. And we've got Luffy and Zoro going up against this guy, Pika here. Um Diamante in the Coliseum right now. Fighting for Ace's Devil Fruit and Treble is in the mix with Usopp and the Tontatas, Robin trying to trying to get to Sugar. So it's all go here. But this is, we need to get we need to get past this guy to get the confrontation with Dolph Lomingo. Is this is this gonna be a kind of similar situation to like Perona where we need to kinda of like find his real body? You know, like how, like uh, there's got to be like Oda always. There's always a drawback to these kind of devil fruits. He must have a weakness. Mhm. Mm yeah. You're gonna have to put a disguise on then, Kinemon. Yeah, use your devil fruit because you stand out as a samurai straight away. Yeah, Blender is like a, like a soldier. He isn't. He isn't dressed up like Dolph Flamingo. Please. He can't change his appearance. Can he? I'm pretty sure... Yeah, I can still see the top knot there. I'm pretty sure all he can do is... Like, clothing, like, disguise-wise. Oh, this is going to be funny. Oh, man. Frankie's Frankie going up against Vice Admirals. Oh no, and now a third one's here. Frankie's Frankie's up against three executives and a Vice Admiral and their underlings all by himself. 
I think we know who's getting MVP in this arc. Frankie's going for it. Let's go. Oh no. I thought you were gonna I thought you were gonna sit back. <laughs> okay. Oh, so he's letting he's letting Dellinger go and fight him then? Oh, Frankie, I, I actually hate this kid, so please smash him up. Yeah, we, we, like, we, we can't try and get past him. I think that the only way we're progressing is to take this guy down. Sorrow's music's kicking in. I think he's about to do something epic here. Oh, okay. Zoro's going to stay behind and take on Pika. Yes. Oh, please tell me Fujitora's not there anymore. Because that's a lot for Luffy. I don't think he is, because we didn't see him the last time that Doflamingo was talking to Riku. Come on, Zoro. Cut him down. Right. Like I was saying, all the top executives are involved now. Right, you know, we're getting Zoro, Zoro about to take on Pika here, you know, Luffy's going on ahead to, to take on Doflamingo, um, Treble, Treble looks like a, like a goofy character, right, you, the way he talks, the way he acts, his devil fruits, you know, the sticky stuff, but we got a little display of, you know, him, you know, sharp shooting a fly in the head, like it was nothing. So I don't know if that's something to do with his maybe observation hacky is on point, but there's something going on. We didn't get to see the conclusion. Leo was charging in. Robin spotted something and stopped him. So something's happening there, right? Something's went uh, something's went awry with that plan. But on the other hand, Diamante is at the Coliseum. You know, he has noticed. Bird just hasn't noticed, but Diamante's noticed that this might not be the, the same Lucy. He's like, his fit, he noticed that he said his fighting style is completely changed. There's something going on there. Sabo is, you know, he's just a badass. Like, he is what I hoped he would be. You know, like, he, he is, we're getting, because like we saw when they were young, him and Ace were always, you know, neck and neck. So... Getting to see Sabo, because we, we got to see Ace being a badass in Alabaster, right? We got to see that, but it was very quickly taken away from us, right? Because we got we got the coolness in Alabaster, and then, you know, it was a good fight with Blackbeard, but after, he got caught there, right? And then ever after that, all the way, until he was freed by Luffy, all we saw was Ace in chains, right? So it's nice to see one of Luffy's brothers just... Showing off here, you know, whipping out the armament hockey, just going to town, like taking on one of Blackbeard's captains. And I I remember the commentator talking about it, saying that Blackbeard has 10 captains, you know, for his ships. I can't remember all their names, but when you think about it, that probably adds up with, when you think of, he had four originally in Jaya. Um, so Lafitte, the doctor, who was on the horse, Burgess, and was it the sharpshooter? Was it Augur? Is that how you say his name? Um, those four, and then when you think about it, you've got um, Shiryu, they got an impel down, and then the rest of them are the other five are like the probably the level, the level six people that got let out. You know, what was it like Vasco shot Kater Katarina? The lady was that her name? Is the giant Wolf? Uh, wolf is he? Would he be one of them? 
Vasco Shaw was the drinking guy, wasn't he? I said him. And then there's two more. I can't remember their names. But I'm guessing it's them. There was the guy with horns. Um, I can't remember the other one. But I'm pretty sure that the 10 is made up of that, right? So, oh man. Let's take out Burgess. Let's take him out here. But the, the issue we have as well is, is there any more of Blackbeard's crew lurking around or is it just Burgess here on his own? Uh, we know Blackbeard's not here because of the call that he had with Burgess when he was talking to Luffy. But you never know with these guys. You know, they're, they're, they're shady dealings. There's, there's stuff going on. Um, we didn't get to see Law. How Law is fearing. We didn't get to see that. Um, hopefully he's okay. Luffy can get to him in time. The problem is we don't have Chopper here. Chopper's away. Chopper's off to Zoe. So we're going to have to get somebody else to, to look after Law. If Law dies, I swear to God, if Law dies, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it. I just... I would never be worried about this before. But ever since Marine Ford, I I just panic now. You know, I think to myself, oh, there's going to do this to me. Oh, there's going to kill this person just to just to twist the knife in there. Um, hopefully he's, he'll be okay. You know, I want this alliance to continue on after this arc. But, um, yeah, it's good to see. We got, we got to see, like, some of the... How some of the people that have been turned into toys, how they're fairing, got to see Cavendish being turned into one, how it actually happens. You know, with Sugar giving the giving the commands after she turns them into toys, which answers a lot of my questions as to why some of these toys haven't been kind of, you know, going against them and trying to trying to, you know, undermine them and tell people the truth. It's basically because they are under full control. They get told as soon as they get turned into toys. You need to do what you're told. Um, so I'm guessing that the toy soldier is like a special case. Because he clearly is not following the orders of the Doflamingo family. So... We need to get the we need to get the full backstory. You know, I, we haven't seen how the toy soldier got turned into a toy. I'm still holding on to the theory that he is. We know that he's Rebecca's dad, but I'm still hoping that he is Kiros, the person that we've been spoke we've spoke about in the Coliseum. Um. So we don't know what the script is there, uh, but I wonder if. I would love to hear like a maybe like a conversation between Sabo and um Koala. Just to hear them like how how they react to the fact they probably don't even think of hack anymore. They're, they probably thought that they came there by themselves. You know? That's how crazy this devil for us. How much it can just poof, take people's memories away. But when you think about it like Fishman Karate, you'd like to think then that Hack was probably the person that taught Koala. So, she'll forget the person that taught it to her and just be like, how do I know this? Like, how do I know how to do this? It's, it's, it's so, it's so, it's such a scary devil fruit. For a devil fruit that has such a, you know, childlike aesthetic to it with all these toys, it's scary when you think of the consequences of her using that ability. So, and I cannot wait to see the chaos when it is undone. But, like I said, there's something went wrong. So let's hope that, you know, Usopp's there. Hopefully Usopp has like a backup plan, even though he's terrified right now. He's terrified. But hopefully he has something up his sleeve. My, what I'm thinking is going to happen is they're not going to be able to get it in the basket or like trick her to eat it. I think that Usopp's going to save the day and he is going to have to shoot the, you know, it's kind of like, um, in Filler Bark when he had to use the salt on the zombies. I think he's going to shoot that uh, grape into her mouth to to get her. So we'll see if we'll see if that comes to pass. But yeah, guys, as these episodes were build up, right? But I like where we're building to. I like that we're we're setting the stage here. 
We're setting the stage. We're getting some matchups. Frankie is... Frankie is holding it down. Frankie is doing very well. Frankie's going up, like, you've got three executives there, you've got a vice admiral there, you've got all these marines, all these kind of soldiers from Buffalo English crew. Frankie's just got a big smile on his face, not complaining, just taking on everybody that comes to him. We need to back him up. We need to back him up because it's going to catch up to him eventually. He's not going to be able to take on all these people alone. I would love it if he did. I would love it so much if Frankie took every one of these people down. I don't think that's going to be the case because these these executives are strong, right? And this, you know, this vice admiral, it's a vice admiral. I mean, come on. But when you think about before the time skip, you would never be thinking that Frankie is going to be going up against a vice admiral and like laughing and joking, you know? This is how far we've come. That just kind of shows you the gauge of you know, the crew, like, even someone that's not in the monster trio is taking on Vice Admirals. That's what I like to see. But yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. If you made it this far and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Everyone that has comes back, watches, comments, likes all these videos. Thank you guys so, so much. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.